Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of the jQuery Basics course of Race Karate. As always, follow me on Twitter and Bastion Blandi on Twitter. We are we are also as at Race Karate. Look for us on Facebook and also make sure you are you are in racekarate.com taking a look to the article of this lesson where you will find the transcript of everything I'm saying here and the codes we are gonna use. Finally, um, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. You support us by subscribing. Um, of course, uh, if you are in racecollector.com, make sure you are also subscribed to our to our newsletter. Create your start chat with one email a week. So make sure you are subscribed. So let's start. First of all, um, I have already created everything. I created. I'm using the workspace uh, of coffee foundations dash, uh, underscore n here on cloud nine. So use the same um, workspace we had in coffee script foundations course. Uh, I created a, a CSS file within. The, so I'm, I'm here within the client di directory, and then I'm here in CSS directory. Then I created a style CSS file where I have some styling. Uh, you can copy those styles he from here in the transcript of the videos. You just copy and paste that. We also have the HTML um, I'm gonna use in this lesson. So you can I created a new file here called jQuery one. So if I open it, I just copy it and paste it. What I did, I just added an image just for make um, look and feel more funny. So you will see. But don't worry, you we don't need any image. And finally, I created within the CF directory a new file called jQuery wanted coffee that will compile or we can we compile to jQuery.js uh, make sure you have the command running so first make sure you are within the client directory and then run the command for compile from CoffeeScript to JavaScript uh, so okay so if you have already done all that stuff so let's start First, if you take a look to the HTML I gave you here in the article, you will see at the end that we have these scripts tags. Uh huh. So first, this link tab uh, will include our CSS or styling. Um, I'm not going to explain that, but I want to make sure you have this line of code here. This line is including the script. Uh, code.jQuery.com uh, the version uh, 1.10.2 in its minified version so if I copy that URL and paste it here you will see that here we have all the J jQuery code take a look all that stuff this is the library jQuery so we do not need to understand all the stuff we we are seeing here so don't worry but just make sure you have this added so with this we are including the jQuery library and we are lost we are also including the JS files generated by our coffee file here jQuery one so make sure you have both okay so let's start first um, taking a look to this element so this is a p element a paragraph element element in HTML so this has a class of warning. So take a look here in this paragraph element. So in CSS, we can select the warning elements using the dot. This is a class selector. We're going to, to explain that in later stages of this course. Um, in other course, we're going to give you about styling and web design. So, so far, you just need to understand that we can give a class um, to every uh, HTML element. So the, here we have the class warning to this paragraph element and we can select that uh, here in our CSS and give styling. As you can see here, we have the warning, and also we have we are selecting the span within the warning, and so on. That is web design stuff. Don't worry if you don't understand at the moment. Just make sure that you understand that we are identifying or giving such a name, something like a name to this paragraph element in HTML. So the same way we are selecting because let's take a look how it looks uh, let me show you so make sure going to succeed is the the text you're gonna see so if I right click to the HTML file click preview so you will see here okay 
let me open this in the browser so here it is here is our website and you will see here the test so we gave this style or this look and feel using CSS okay so how we do how did we do that we could select these using the dot here notation for class elements in CSS and we are when we do this we are telling the CSS or the browser hey all the elements that has this class apply this styling the same way we do that with CSS we can do it with jQuery we can select all the elements all the HTML elements that has this class using jQuery pretty easy so let me show you how it works so we can say here jQuery uh -huh. and we can say here parentheses I'm going to select the class warning uh -huh. here we have the jQuery all the elements uh, with the I mean we have here all the elements with warning class in the HTML using jQuery uh -huh. so the same way we do this I mean we select things here and we give them uh, some instructions uh, here in CSS we also can tell jQuery to do stuff with the elements we get through these um, selectors I mean for example uh, for let's say color what we can do um, go into the documentation of jQuery so if I go to the article the video you will scroll down and you will find this link called jQuery documentation let's open in this okay so here you will find the jQuery API documentation and you will find here all the methods or functions we can make or we can uh, perform using jQuery so let's do something pretty simple in jQuery everything has um, a sense everything has sense the name of the function if you read the name of the functions you will understand what they do so for example I let's look for the show I mean for the hide I want to hide this element so I can look for hide and here is the hide method so take a look that this this is the way we use it so if we go here to the documentation you, we will find how we can use but this is a lot of information but look you can see here that we select the element and we type the hide math the hide function so let's let's use it so I can say dot hide and use parentheses let's save and um, let's reload this let's see if, oh, okay as you can see if we uh, so what we did here was just to hide the element so if we reload again this you can see that it disappeared we did that using jQuery but the same way uh, there is a hide method you should suppose that should be a show method let's see if we can well actually if we go again to the documentation will find the show met the show function it's a show uh-huh this is the function show so here we can see some example how to use it and uh, here we have some examples uh-huh the same way we just sh we can use show the same way we use hide so I'm going here to say show so we're going to show and hide the element let's reload again uh-huh and okay it see it seems that we didn't do anything to the page let's reload this again as you can see uh, it does not, it not does not look that we hide and show the element and that's why that's because everything happened too fast so how we can uh, tell to jQuery do things slower well each element in the documentation if we take a look to the show uh, documentation show function documentation we will see that we have here some some ways we can tell the, the method uh, let's see here uh, we have a, a way to, to tell the duration of the effect and it says that the strings fast and slow can be uh, these amounts of milliseconds where the action takes so let's see if we can give the show the, the slow slow string as parameter to the show function if everything works let's see so I'm going to pass the string slow 
And let's see if everything now is slower. Let's reload this. Oh yeah, as you can see now we can we can uh, we can see when we hide the element and when we show it very slow. Uh huh. You can see that it goes well. It goes from the from the left to the center here, but this is how it works. Uh, we will know we will learn more stuff in later lessons. In this lesson, I just want you to wanted you to understand how jQuery works and what what it is for. Let's just two more um, things before we end the lesson. Before we finish, sorry. Uh, you can use instead of use jQuery, we can use a dollar sign. Uh huh. Let's see if it works. And it works the same. We use the dollar sign for avoid. I mean, for avoid uh, redundant um, reduce called redundant the redundancy. <laughs> and this will make our jQuery statements shorter. So you will find it in the, in the documentation that that use the dollar sign everywhere. So let's use this dollar sign instead of jQuery. And also in jQuery we have the chaining, the way of chaining. So you know that chaining is to append more functions to the results of other functions. So we can just say this. So we want the warning element to be hide. hide and after we hide it, we have the show. We apply show with the slow parameter. So that's it. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about something called the DOM. We'll, it is D D O M. And we will talk what it is uh, because jQuery interacts with these elements, with the DOM. So, but we are going to talk that at the next lesson. So this that's all for this lesson. Uh, don't forget to follow me and to follow Race Karate in our social networks and see you the next lesson. Bye bye.